Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a la Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a suggestion from Carolina. Hola, Carolina. Carolina. Hola. And Carolina is asking us to talk about, well, she's got a confusion about whether she should be using the, um, uh, what's it called? The tense, the, yeah, the, the perfect tense. Okay. Or whether the preterite tense is the right. And I'll read, I'll read what she says in the next okay. bit. Vale? This is a, an early intermediate video cast. Vale, so we'll do gracias. it in English. Vale? <laughs> in English. In English. Vale. Así que, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Cynthia, Carolina dice esto. Esperad un minuto. Vale. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> They've always... I've always been taught that we need to use the, the perfect tense with <laughs> this morning, <laughs> this afternoon, this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that saying tuve is not correct. Esta mañana tuve. Okay. So you've got to say esta mañana he tenido. Ok. Eh, cuando fui a Chile eh, tenía que aprender a usar estos tiempos de forma distinta. Muy yeah. bien. Bueno, well, I, I actually answered Carolina uh, a few days ago. Ok. <laughs> But yes, ok. So. So, what's the story? What's the story? It's, it, it's really simple. Ok. When we say this morning. There are two options. You can use the preterite or you can use the perfect. And the difference well, to choose one or the other is at what point of the day are you now? When you say this morning, if you're not in the morning anymore, now it's the night time, then you're going to use the preterite. Okay, but if you're still in the morning, Like you say, this morning at nine, and it's now eleven. Uh, then we're going to use the perfect. So le, uh, an example of that would be typically, yeah. Eh, esta mañana he hablado con Andrés. Uh -huh. Okay. He hablado. So I'm using the perfect tense because it's still the morning. I'm in the morning. The perfect tense. Remember, the perfect tense is this. This is a block of time. You were still within that block of time. Yes. Obviously, you're at, you're at the end point, always at the end point, you know, but you're in that block of time. But then, in the afternoon, I said to Cynthia, oh, esta mañana hablé con exactly. Andrés. Mm -hmm. Hablé. Why? Because I'm not in esta mañana anymore. So the question you ask is, am I in esta mañana? If I am, I can use the, yes. the, the perfect tense. Am I out of esta mañana? Perfect tense is yes. not the right one to use. Exactly. And the same applies to today, this week, this month, this year. Like depending, typically when you say today, this week, this month, this year, we t tend to use the perfect. Unless we're at the end of today or at the end of the month or at the end of the week, then like reflecting back, we could say I did this or instead of mm. I have done this. Yes. Yeah. Very much like in English. Yeah. But like in English. In some areas, they don't use the perfect, like some areas of the US, they don't use the perfect. And in some areas of the Spanish speaking world, they don't use the I have, yeah, either. So they favor or they only use the preterite and the imperfect. Exactly. And um, so hence why sometimes you, for example, watch something from Latin America And they would say, they would choose the preterite when we would use the perfect. And the same with British English. Mm -hmm. They would choose the, pre the perfect like we would in Spain. But in America, in, like for example, what do you do instead of what have you done? Yeah. Yeah. Like we yeah. would say, what have you done? ¿Qué has hecho? Like something that happened now, like your child broke a vase and you say, ¿Qué has hecho? What have you done? But maybe in Latin America they would say, what did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? Yeah. So yeah. that's another difference uh -huh. um, in preference. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. What's important also to understand is that, look, these are, these are not 
hard and fast rules. You're going to hear people saying other stuff. Breaking them, yeah. But absolutely. The, the rule, if you want to work on a have a good rule, is this: if you're not in the same time frame, don't use the perfect tense. Right? Use the preterite. But if you are in the same time frame, you've got a choice. You can choose. You know, it's not law that you have to use the the perfect tense. You can say, you know, it can be twelve o'clock, and you can say, sabes. Esta mañana me pasó una cosa extraña. Claro, okay? extraña. Extraña. Mm -hmm. Una cosa extraña. You don't have to say, esta mañana me ha pasado una cosa extraña. You can, but you don't have to. But it's when, you, when you're in the afternoon and you're not going to say, esta mañana me ha pasado una cosa. No, mm -hmm. es que me pasó una cosa because you're out of that time now. That's all. The fairly straightforward rule. But you'll hear lots of people doing Lots of different things, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it depends, like, regionally. But, yeah, that what you said was, was really good. If you're not, if you're in the time frame, then you, you've got the choice. If you're not, then preterite. Yeah. I, I would say. Yeah. So it depends on what, like, in Chile. I, I don't know if in Chile they use the haber. I don't know. Probably okay. because in Latin America, they tend to use more the preterite, that more than, much more than we do. And the same applies to uh, American uh, English. They use much more the preterite than British English because I've, I've seen it, I've heard, you know, they, yeah, they yeah. use more the... Absolutely. So... Yeah. But that's that's basically the answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. today, this month, this week, uh, or I have just... Um, or something like recent because the preterite for us is feels more in the past. Yes. Than the present perfect. It, it feels pushes. more recent, yeah? Yeah. It yeah. pushes it the pushes action stuff a little back. bit further back yeah. than present perfect. So, yeah, this morning, are you still in the morning? Yes, no? Are you today? Are you at the end of the day? So do you feel today as something that you're still, something ongoing or it's done today? Mm -hmm. uh, this month, is it done or do you feel like it's still ongoing? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's there's even there's an extra layer to this. Oh my god! Because Cynthia's saying that the the preterite gets pushed into the past. So if if I say we'll just try this on Cynthia. If I say, oh one. la comida ha estado riquísima. Uh huh. Right. Yes. What period of time am I talking about? What am I referring to? You've just to? finished eating. Yeah. La comida ha estado riquísima. Right. Now. Usually if, you've just finished. If I say la comida estuvo riquísima. Now, wherever put that. Oh, it feels like you haven't eaten uh, today. Like, but it's, it's too It feels like hours ago, or days ago, or, or days, weeks ago. Or weeks ago, yeah. But if I say, yeah. la comida estaba riquísima. Today, I would say. La right. estaba, estaba muy rica. It could be, ju you've just finished, uh -huh. or within a short period of time. So... What what's interesting here in Spain usually is oh, that a description. Yeah, if you you got a choice between ha estado, estaba, and estuvo, when you're talking about food, the estuvo one, the preterite one, is the one that pushes it way back, way back compared to the ha estado y estaba. Yeah. So after you've just finished a meal, you can say estaba yeah. buenísima. I think we're getting into another terrain here. Sure, but I just, want, <laughs> just when, when you said confusion, I know that when you said the preterite. <laughs> The preterite pushes it back in We're time. We're going to have more more questions that's from this good, video. That's that. good. More questions, yeah. But the, the preterite does push it back in time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the same as when you say, um, eh, fue, fue un bombero. Okay, or fue bombero. Fue bombero. It's, it's, it's like mm, quite a way back, mm -hmm. yeah? Quite a like way back. once upon a time, no? Yeah. Como la sensación. Exactly. Uh, but, like, that's, that's in Spain, in Latin America, the food was good, la comida estuvo buena o estuvo bien, then it could be recent for them. It could be just now. Because they don't use the other tenses. So exactly. you also have to know the, um, the speaker, where the speaker is from. Sure. Obviously, obviously, we can only advise from Spain because that's yeah. Of that's, course, I can only tell you. From you know, every Spain. country, every region has their own yeah. their own way of using it. But generally, if you stick to that rule that we said, muy bien, gordo. Yeah, pues muy bien. And now, and now a word from our sponsor. 
Muchas gracias, José gracias, Luis. Gracias, papá. Mi gracias, suegro. Papá. Mi suegro. <laughs> José Luis is, is, uh, has been working really hard on his English. He has. He, he really has. He has. And, yeah. he and my mom. Well. And my and mom. mom well. yeah, they're, they're working both. really hard learning English. They've got lots of questions every single week. <sighs> Absolutely, they have, yeah. Um, all about slang. Yeah. <laughs> my dad. Quite what the oh teacher's doing God. in that school. No, no, but my dad. What's, what's gotta? What's, what's gonna? What's gotta? What's, what's ain't? What, Should it? Like, Should it? What, are you learning these things? <laughs> yeah. What does sh- no should have mean? Well, <laughs> it means to shake like this. Oh, I should have went. Yeah, oh, hang on a minute. No, that's... Gone. Anyway. No, no, but that, that's should. like in songs oh, well, and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, my God. Often he'll, come, he'll, he'll tell me this phrase that's really, really so wrong in, in English. I think, where have you get yeah. it from a song? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's getting... Sometimes he's getting confused by the pronunciation of words. In songs, and I'm like, Dad, in songs, they can do whatever they want, like we do. You know? Absolutely. Emphasis in the wrong... Past participles all over the shant. <laughs> so, um, what we're promoting today is, and you, some of you have seen this before, this is our book, uh, Perfecting the Past. Obviously, the... the <laughs> we've been, it's also edible. I'm, I'm hiding the corner. I'm hiding the corner. The corner, the corner has been it's eaten by my son. When his teeth were coming through, <laughs> it was like partially eaten, partially sucked. <laughs> but I'm, I'm putting my hand there so they nobody will notice. We'll cut that out. We'll cut okay, that out. Good enough, okay, good we'll cut it out. It's not edible. Okay, don't mention <laughs> it. So, this book, the question that Car- uh, Carolina had, this book will answer all of those questions on the past. Truly, uh, 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 this is the most popular book that we have on the market out of the 10 books that we have on the market. This is the most popular. Why? Because it's the past is we're, we're always talking in the past, aren't we? We're, we're, you know, when you want to tell a good story, yeah, of course, you want to tell a good tale. Well, I remember when Cynthia and I first uh, started um, together, when we got together, and I had loads of stories to tell her. I had loads of stories that I wanted to tell her about my experience in Mexico, all the women Morocco, you had been with, <laughs> no, all the food I'd eaten, the cultural experiences that I'd had. <laughs> but I couldn't do it because I couldn't control the past and I was a stabbering when I should have been uh, stooving and oh, it was just a nightmare, nightmare. This book is the culmination of all of that understanding of... Oh, With all the right. stories, golden stories that he finally could tell me. Absolutely, yeah. For all the food he We're ate. about halfway through <laughs> those stories now. Cynthia's still got the other half to hear. Not sure whether I'm going to tell her them. I think that's the, those stories are between me <laughs> and those are hundred and, <laughs> and those and those are the beings. <laughs> anyway, I don't care because when I think about it, I think they must be coming up sixty, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, all my flings are like drawing the pension now. <laughs> They're not that old, not that old. I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, I'll put the link for this book in the, in the information uh, on the video, okay? <laughs> yeah, she... A book on Gordon Springs. How thick would it be? Would it be like the Village of the Earth kind of it, book? No, or would it, be it would just be a couple of pages. Animal Farm kind of book. It would book. be a couple of pages. <laughs> with, a, with a large index. I know it sounded wrong. That sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. I don't even know what that means, the large index. I don't know what, what would that would mean, but anyway. So, eso es todo, chicos. Muchas gracias, Carolina. Cintia ya se está poniendo bien. Ay, Dios mío. Entonces, ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. <risa> ¿Qué cojones? Ah, me duele el estómago, me duele el estómago. <risa> They drew a, a pension. Ah. <risa>